Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Mobile video. In today's video, I know it's been a while, I know it's been a while since one of these videos came out, but we didn't have any news before, but now we finally have some Fortnite Mobile news that I wanna tell you guys, and you do not, and I mean you do not wanna miss this one, so make sure you watch till the end. But pretty much in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly when Fortnite Mobile is coming back, because as you know, there's a trial on May, and that trial, is the end of this whole lawsuit thingy that's been happening. It's been crazy, it's been a crazy couple of months, but it's finally coming back. We finally know an educated guess on when Fortnite Mobile will be returning. It kind of does depend, maybe like a five, 10 day gap, one week, but if we waited so long, I'm sure we can wait another week longer. But that being I'm said, you guys, it's time, let's just hop straight into the video. But before we do get into this Fortnite Mobile video, you guys know the drill. If you guys enjoy my videos, if you guys enjoy the content, go down there, drop a sub, drop a like. When you drop a like, helps these videos do well, helps other people know about my content. So, you know, why not help me out? Drop a like, drop a sub. And did you guys know, look how many of you guys aren't subscribed. Look at that graph right there. There's so many of you guys that aren't subscribed. So if you guys could go down there, drop a sub, it takes half a second and it helps me out so, so much. But that being said, let's just get straight into this video. So as a recap, we all know this started when Fortnite decided that they were going to remove the direct payment system. And what the direct payment system was, was basically a way for every time that someone buys V-Bucks, 30% of the income Epic makes. For example, if you buy $10 worth of V-Bucks, then Epic would get seven of those dollars and Apple would get three of those dollars. And then Epic was like, nope, we don't want this anymore. So they just decided to remove it so they could get all the money. So now they got $10 fully. So that was a big problem for Apple because they actually, Epic actually start, signed a contract saying that they would be totally fine with giving that 30% to Apple. But now when they remove it, they're breaking the contract. So Apple sues Epic and then Epic sues Apple. And here we are 256 days or something later. And we have no idea what's happening. We just want the game back. And both of these parties are going lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit, trying to get the payment system back, trying to keep it out of the game, blah, blah, blah. That's all happening. And we've made, we've seen a lot of videos about the return date, especially from Golden Gold. has made a lot of videos on these and it's been so, so long. It's been 232 days just for this game to come back or, and it hasn't even come back yet. It's been 232 days and it might even be longer. But basically we have a pretty good guess and I'm gonna tell you guys why that's it. That's why I think it is. So basically when they took out the payment system, pretty much it, it was cutting off their revenue, right? And they did, they, Epic didn't cut it off at a random position. They weren't just like, okay, I, today's the day I'm gonna cut it off or today's the day that I think I'm just gonna cut off this payment system for no reason. They did it for a reason. And that reason is because when it got banned from the Apple store, then they would know that it was done during a global pandemic. It makes the judge want to make the decision quicker so that they can actually get rid of the, get rid of this whole lawsuit and finally get it back on the Apple store because people want to play with their friends, right? Everybody wants to play this game. And now that's been taken off, both parties aren't making any money whatsoever. And then, and then for example, take Among Us. Among Us blew up over a pandemic and obviously it's because people are staying home. People are staying home and they wanna actually make sure that they're, they're playing with their friends so that they're socializing, you know, staying at home gets really, really boring, really, really fast. So they make sure that they did it during a pandemic so they could pretty much keep the, all the, all the people who wanna play Fortnite, they could keep them as hostages pretty much. And now that when they have us and there's so much demand for Fortnite, then it makes the judge want to take Epic side and actually get rid of the payment system and be like, hey, we don't want the payment system in the game anymore. I think Apple's doing this, blah, 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 and, find, and take Epic's side on the matter. But obviously that hasn't always been the case since this lawsuit would have ended a lot sooner if it was. But now over 200 days later, we finally got the last lawsuit, which is gonna happen in May 3rd. So as you can see, and let me pull up this document, Apple Epic in-app payment trial date set for May 3rd, 2021. And this, and it, this is actually an earlier date, which is like it says in the bottom, it's actually supposed to be in July, but they did it earlier just because of the whole pandemic. 
And so they wanted to get this sorted out quickly because they make sure that this is the last date that they're ever going to have. And even Golden tweeted out the Epic Games versus Apple trial will be in person starting May 3rd and will last five days unless otherwise ordered. There'll be around 35 hours of trial, 35 hours in a whole school week. Unfortunately, this is going to be a school week, so I know a lot of you are going to be busy, so there won't be a video as soon as it happens, but I will make sure to post it maybe like a couple days or maybe even one day after the trial happens. But 35 hours, this trial is going to be happening, taking place, and it's going to be all online, obviously, because of the bad, bad virus, and um, that's how we're actually going to be able to work it out. But guys, keep in mind, both sides want this game to be back. It's not like Epic doesn't want the game to be back. Epic and Apple want the game to be back just in different ways. Apple wants the payment system to be put back so that they can get their contract renews and they can actually get the money. But Epic wants to keep it outside so that they can they can keep it and keep more of the revenue to themselves instead of having to give them to Apple because after all it is their game. Now I don't I'm I'm not gonna pick any sides, but if I had to, I would definitely pick Apple's side because why would you sign a contract? unless you're about to follow it all the way to the end, right? So that's kind of stupid for me. If personally I were supposed to pick a side, I would pick Apple's side because technically Apple did tell them before this game even started that all in-app purchases, Apple will take a 30% cut of and they wrote a contract and everything. So if they agreed, what's the point of breaking it now? But if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen on May 3rd. You guys are just gonna have to stick around to see the whole situation unfold. I won't be in call for 35 hours in a week because I mean, I I don't have 35 hours to spare. I got other work to do, school work, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be busy as well because it's a school week, not on a holiday. And this will be 35 hours, but I can tell you guys the schedule of what's going to happen. So it's going to start at 8 a.m. in the morning, 8 a.m. in the morning, which for me is even going to be worse because the time zone not the same. So only people in the US is going to be 8 a.m. in the morning to 8.15. Not evidentiary trial matters, just regular getting everybody in, getting everybody situated, trying to make sure that everybody's in the trial, engaged, and they can finally begin. Then 8.15 to 10.15, then a 20 minute break. That's 8.15 to 10.15 is going to be the actual trial part. So two hours of a regular trial that they're giving their points, blah, blah, blah. Judges making up their mind, their judges taking in the info and seeing who's in the right, who's in the wrong, blah, blah, blah. Then they're gonna take a 20 minute break. 1.15 to then 1.15 to 3.15 p.m. is gonna be a massive new trial. And that trial is going to be another version of this one, just the same thing again, giving points, taking points, taking conclusions, seeing who's in the right, who should be, who should be given the money, blah, blah, blah. And then in total, that makes it 35 hours of trial in a week. And by the way, this is going to be happening every single day, not just one day. It's every single day throughout a whole week or five days or whatever, right? So it's going to be absolutely insane. So if there's seven hours, uh, seven hours in a day, right? That there's going to be a trial and all five days, there's going to be seven hours of day of trial in a day. And I'm not about to be sitting in the Zoom call for seven hours. So yeah, I can't really, I can't really do any of this, but I'm sure there will be someone streaming it on Twitch. So if you guys want to watch that, you can go watch that. And, but for me personally, I will just, I'll just cover it in my next video. But until then, we have to just wait to see what happens. And actually there's been another lawsuit and mostly it will get, after this lawsuit is all resolved, it's going to be done in the UK and the US first since source is a primary suppliers because I'm pretty sure like 30% of the whole world is, is who's playing Fortnite is literally in there. So UK and US are gonna get it first and for everybody else out of the UK and US is gonna be, they're gonna have to wait and see their own country do a trial and it's gonna be even longer for them. But if I were to take an educated guess, after this trial, after a week, there, since it's May 3rd, around May 10th, the trial will finish, right? And after May 10th, it's gonna take about a week to bring the game back, get it up and running back to the App Store. So whether that be Epic wins or Apple wins, the goal is the same, get Fortnite Mobile back in the App Store. They both want it back. Apple even said that they will bring it back if Epic wants to take out the payment system, but Epic obviously didn't listen. I mean, it's Epic obviously, right? And so since they denied it, unfortunately, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens in the end, but 
I can tell you guys this much, that after the trial is finished at May 10th, then an educated guess, if I were to take an educated guess and give you guys a direct answer, I will probably say one or two weeks after making that like May 20th-ish, somewhere around there, mid-May, then Fortnite ho Mobile will hopefully be back in the App Store. And when it once it does come back, I'm really, really hoping to see season season five or season six. It might be even, we might even skip a season because of it. I'm pretty sure we've already skipped like three seasons or something. And we just have to wait and see and wait for the trial to be over. But for everybody in the US and UK, it should be around May 20th. Everybody outside of the US and UK, so like all of the countries except for those two countries, probably a week and a half later so i would maybe say it could drag on to like may 30th or even into next month which is just insane but that's that's how lawsuits work they don't finish they don't finish suddenly i hope they did but they really don't but yeah there's your there's your answer for when fortnite mobile is coming back i know there haven't been a lot of videos it's just been super super slow it's been really slow for fortnite mobile but i can promise you as soon as fortnite mobile comes back I'm going to be hitting you guys with uploads every single week, maybe even twice a week if you guys are lucky. But that's pretty much it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you go down there, drop a sub, drop a like. As you guys know, you know the drill. If you guys enjoy the videos, you drop a sub, you drop a like. It helps me out a lot. Only a very small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. So most of you just watch the video and leave. So please consider subscribing. It really, really helps me out. And I really, really appreciate it. Even though it might, it might take only half a second for you guys. I do appreciate it. Yeah, comment down below your thoughts. I really want to hear them. But that's pretty much it for me. Drop a sub, drop a like. You know how it is. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.